Hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another reading for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Excuse me. And any other major placements in which you may have... I almost said Gerber. Does somebody have GERD? I was just about to say, I, I feel like reflex every time I've been doing your reading. Um, and I almost said Gerber. Uh, this is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Science, and you know, any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember, do not force it. If it is not your reading, my loves, it is simply, simply not your reading. Let's see what we got going on, Virgos. I'm not sure if this is energy or love, so we shall see. But everything's popping up on its own. This looks very, very similar to the reading we just had a couple days ago. <sighs> Dang it. Let's see what this means. Virgo, this is your energy. This is your surrounding. This is the mutual, most likely outcome, if, or what's to come. If you haven't already, check out my website, lunajadebotanica.com. And I am doing the $2 yes or no questions on my Ask Me link below. This is the Marvel Tarot deck. And this one is a little bit more... Um, is pulling me more energetically. Over here in your surrounding, my lovelies, you have the Nine of Coins, the Ten of Coins, the Two of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. I'm very confused. That's just that's just what I'm getting. I'm very, very confused. I have the chills everywhere. Um, I just heard somebody's pissing me off. Somebody is pissing me off. I don't know. And I'm getting like, mm, I'm seeing Black Panther. And I'm also, well, I'm assuming that's Black Panther, right? <laughs> that's the Black Panther card. Um, like someone is like angry and wants justice is what I'm getting. I just heard they're delusional. They're delusional. They're delusional. Okay, loves, there's somebody that is worried about money over here. That's what I'm getting. The nine of coins and the ten of coins are both cards about money and finances. Could be singlehood. It, it's like someone feels like you're trying to take their abundance or take their money for some reason like but they're like upset because they think that you are in a better spot than them all right I'm getting a lot of child support I'm getting a lot of like alimony I'm getting a lot of like um just someone who doesn't want to do it you know just someone who's angry because they're going to be forced to provide some sort of materialism or finances. All right, the nine of coins and ten of coins. This is the Virgo card. This is abundance, and the ten of coins is the happily ever after, the white picket fence, and the longevity of finances, wealth, or um, abundance. <laughs> there is definitely something about. broken and brittle is what I want to say broken and brittle I just heard you don't understand what you're doing somebody is in like a it, it, someone is in for a very very rude rake 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 raking up the leaves there's something about like someone made a mess and it's time to be cleaned up but they don't understand what they're doing f going against you Virgo for some reason okay they think that you are already abundant and they think that you don't need assistance or need their help but if you get it you're just going to be even higher up than what they are to begin with there's a very very there's two different people that have the evil eye on you for sure I feel I'm seeing a lot of spider like like black widow ah oh, dang I'm seeing black widow yeah not the character, like an actual spider, Black Widow. <laughs> 
they think that you already have what you need. And they don't want to add to more abundance for you and not themselves. Like they don't want to like just give you more because they think you already have it all. If that makes sense. But someone has like their hands up, their fists up, their like I almost said their dukes up with the two of swords here. With the two of swords, this talks about obstacles. This talks about confusion. It talks about trying to make a decision, but feeling very cloudy, feeling very like, I don't know what to do. Someone is in for a very, again, rude awakening. I have the chills. And with this Knight of Swords there, I feel strongly like they're going to lose their mind. Like they're not going to know what to do. Like I'm getting strong, like they're ridiculous and they deserve this. They're ridiculous and they deserve this. I'm, I'm, there's something about a soccer team or a soccer ball. There's a lot of eyes that are going to be on this situation. And I just keep getting like a feeling of overwhelming embarrassment. Someone is going to get what they deserve. Even if it's something as small as them being embarrassed in front of others. They thought they won the fight, but in reality, they're definitely going to pay for it. There's something very significant about that. Someone's going to be very angry. I'm not going to lie with that Knight of Swords. Someone's going to be very angry or they are angry and they're going to be very embarrassed. Like the color red is going to show all over their face all over their body like their soul is going to like cower down is what I feel because there's going to be a different perception on on whoever this is Virgo but I feel strong there's something about two people And it's like, I'm seeing M&M, and I'm seeing the two different M&Ms, like the milk chocolate one and the peanut one. Like, I'm seeing, like, they're two different, but they're the same. <laughs> like, I'm getting, like, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Very strange, Riggle. Over here in your energy, you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups. Ace of Cups. Nine of Wands. No dice. Again, no dice. I'm hearing you and I can't get along. You and I cannot get along. With the Knight of Cups in reverse, my loves, you do not care about this situation. You do not care for this person. Once upon a time, maybe. Because I do see like an upside down heart. Like once upon a time, maybe there was some love there. Some genuine feelings, even if they're not romantic. Um, but now you just see red. Look who it is. What is it? Cy Cyclops? You just see red when you hear about this person, think about this person, talk to this person. I almost wanted to say Amanda. Ama. And I want to say extension. Oof. I just heard, aren't you happy you don't have to see me? Something very significant about, like, you cutting, like, they have no lifeline to you. I almost said lifetime. <laughs> they have no, I just keep hearing limelight. They have no lifeline to you. Like, they can't, there's no extension to reach you. You do not care about this person whatsoever. Like, it is a done deal already. It's already a dead deal in, in your eyes. It's been there. With this Eight of Cups, you have far than moved on. You have more so, like, <laughs> ran from this situation. 
the eight of cups talks about moving forward like there's no there's nothing left there's no emotion there's no nothing that you want from this person <laughs> loves you know it's so funny as i just heard let me make this crystal clear and for y'all that have that follow me I have been hearing crystal clear for several, several months on all these readings. And I feel like this is who the person is, or this is the situation that they were speaking of all these months. Let me make this crystal clear. It is this person. And I'm seeing Ivan Ooze. Y'all remember from the old school Power Ranger movie, Ivan Ooze? Like you're finally seeing who the real villain is whoever this is these are the real villain or villains you have walked away you have moved on you have like there's no mind body soul memory nothing behind this like I feel strongly like this is just somebody like literally just someone from your past you know ace of cups in reverse absolutely nothing is there i don't care like there's no thoughts there's no love there's no admiration don't call me if you need anything don't call me if you need help look at the look at the card cold as ice it is a done deal and look don't don't call me the nine of wands is a blockage you might have this person blocked. You might not be able to talk to this person because your soul is rejecting the energy. Your soul is rejecting who and what they are, what they stand for. And I feel like this person tries to suppress you in some way or, or sense of like in some way they try to suppress you or make you look bad or just put you down, something like that. Like there's something about that, about this right here that's really calling out to me. I just heard and again and I heard here we go again and I'm hearing let's get this over with yeah you definitely don't like this person it's almost like a like a disgust in the mutual the ten of swords and the seven of swords and they refuse to believe it it's like this person is just so insane like i don't know what it is i'm not even picking up ego like they refuse to believe this is a dead end connection or a dead end situation And because of that, they, they feel like you are being, um, how, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like it's non-negotiable. They think you're being unreasonable. There you go. Because they think that there's still something there and there's like absolutely not. The Ten of Swords, an ending, a defeat. I'm almost hearing like, I wanted to say resurrection, but it's like someone is waiting for a resurrection and it's just never coming. Like, I just heard, don't let them stink up your name. Don't let them stink up your name. This person refuses to take it responsibility, accountability, and that is why with the seven of swords here, the lying, sneaky, cheating, self-sabotage, ugly, ugly, ugly card for an ugly, ugly, ugly soul. This person quite literally is like a lost cause. I feel, I feel that strongly. They're a lost cause and they just keep self-sabotaging the situation worse and worse and worse and that's why it's going to come back and bite them really really nasty 
I just heard like you're not the one to play with about certain things Virgo and I feel strongly this has to do with something that is like a sensitive subject or something that is very important to you okay people reap what they sow I just heard the roses in their eyes the roses in their eyes Underneath the deck, you have the five of coins. The five of coins is talking about <laughs> it's talking about feeling left out, feeling abandoned, feeling neglected, feeling lonely. But is also talking about going broke. There is something very significant about finances here. Something very significant about finances. I'm getting strong this person is like a replica to someone you've already dealt with only back in like 2019 you know what I mean or 20 no 29 no <gasps> oh my god why did I say 2019 um possibly but also I wanted to say 2009 That's weird. I just heard you made the wrong choice, baby girl. You made the wrong choice, baby girl. The five of coins talks about losing money, not having enough funds, struggling with income or bills or things like that. Isn't that daredevil's mask? I feel like somebody's trying to take you for money or trying not to like provide or assist in some way that they're obligated to. And it's going to bite them. And I feel like there's a very strong sense of like, try me, try me energy, especially with this two of coins here. The two of coins talks about juggling and it's like, it's like, try me. And with the king of cups, I feel strongly like things are going to work out in your favor, Virgo. I'm getting a very, very big sense like you're not even worried. You're not even scared. And it's very much so like, come try me. You know, that's all I keep hearing. Try me. But someone is very stressed out this evening. Someone is very stressed out tonight for some reason. The Nine of Swords is that stressful. Can't sleep, can't eat. Anxiety, energy. There's something about grief or remorse also. Or just a very like stress. Just overcoming and overpowering this person's soul right now but with the three of swords here this is part of what they owe the three of swords in reverse talks about healing it talks about healing a heartache a heartbreak or trauma and i feel strongly like this is almost payback for heartache heartbreak and trauma that they have caused to you loves everyone pays for everything they do one way or another the page of coins this might have to do with child support or a child and I think this person is this person may like put on the puppy dog tears you know puppy dog tears like please like I want to like you know make things come together and make things work or I want to be better and I want to be around or present or I'll help it with what I can something about if this resonates with with um I almost said produce if this resonates with um like a contract or like a court order or money or something but I think you're very much so you're not even attempting to entertain any of the bs or the child games anymore that's what I feel. That's what I feel strongly, Virgos. That is what I have for you. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I am sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so much. I will talk to y'all soon.